but another piece of that when they're older, there's still so much kind of strategy, I think, to mm. parenting. There's mm -hmm. so much big brain thinking that happens when right. they get to be teenagers and they start getting into criminal behavior, which right. is normal high school criminal behavior. I right. don't mean yeah. like anybody's mm -hmm. off the rails even. Right, right, yeah. right. The strategy of arson. They're li exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they're lying. And lying is part of being a teenager because of the want for autonomy. Yeah. So you if if you bust them on every lie, they yeah. hate you. I need yeah, and tell me more about lying strategies. That. We got a liar. Mm -hmm. I'm you not going to name names. We got a liar. Okay. Yeah. I read a book about yeah. raising teenage daughters that was really helpful about that. It did narrow it down for us on which child of it is ours. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's your daughter or not. Right. But the book I read, I only have daughters. Yeah. So yeah. I read a book about raising teenage daughters. And what the psychologist said in this book is that um, lying is their uh, need for autonomy, that they have this moment in time where they do not want you involved in their life in any capacity at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they know they can't do it without you. Mm. So it's like the the theory of, I've said this so many times on my podcast, but the theory of like, I hate you, I hate you. Now will you drive me and the Emily to the mall? Right. 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 Yeah. I can't right. even get to the mall without you, but I want you out of my business entirely. Mm. So it's the struggle within them of, I don't want to need you, and I know that I absolutely do. Mm. So I'm going to, to find it okay. leads to lying. Yes, that's a directly leads to lying because mm. they're trying to find these places that are just theirs. Oh, so they'll tell you something knowing that yeah. you don't know what's really right. happening. So it gives mm. them ownership. And she said one of the ways she found that they – they kind of helped alleviate that somewhat. You can't really make it go away, especially for teenage daughters, but to help alleviate it was to give them places where they had absolute autonomy. Like mm. her example in the book is you can have your room as messy as you're like, mm. here's the rule, no food in your room. And if we have company, if I request for you to right. clean it up for some special occasion, not because it's Friday, but like right. grandma's mm -hmm. coming over, right. you got to clean your room. Right. You have to do that. That's right. the deal. You get mm -hmm. total autonomy as as soon as you cross the threshold of your bedroom door, it's That's yours. yours. Mm -hmm. But when I ask it, I still pay the bills. Yeah. Grandma's come and clean it up. Fine. And that usually helps them have that space where they're totally autonomous. Mm. If it's not that, it's their closet. It's their car. It's right. their whatever. Fill mm -hmm. in the blank, whatever works for your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we did that at our house. And I think... For Georgia, was it the room thing? Is that what you did? It was the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like the room is mm -hmm. yours, mm -hmm. and it sucks my soul to go in Isla Kreischer's room. <laughs> I go in there and I'm like, uh, a serial yeah, you're killer. Yeah, like, is there a different here. solution? <laughs> no, I mean, I literally think she's a serial killer, and there's probably snakes loose yeah. in that room. Yeah, and you snake get the bit. guns. Good luck. Yeah. You know, I I literally go in there and I'm like losing my mind over her room. But yeah. this is the deal we made. And that girl so far, as far as I can tell, is not a big liar. Mm. If and I haven't really caught her any any small lies. And with the older one, I caught her in lies constantly. Yeah. So I'm pretty good at catching liars. Yeah, same. But Georgia, for some reason, didn't take as much ownership of that autonomy as mm. Isla did. Isla was like, you said... Uh, this is mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be mine. And she mm. does it. Whereas Georgia, I think, still had a little bit of mom in the background going, okay. I should probably clean this up. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. And then so mm -hmm. she yeah. lied more. It's That's very good. fascinating. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because we do. We when, when you have a kid that lies a lot, you're just like, I don't, it, this, this kind of compromises everything. Like when we don't have like trust, we don't have anything, you know? So it's like, do you have homework? No. I mean, is that true? Mm -hmm. You know, because it's mm -hmm. it's hard. It's to, just like a band aid, you know, like problem solved. I said no. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I have that just too. Well, what she did say about that is you have to kind of set for your the parents what is a deal breaker lie. Like mm. Georgia told me she was going to so and so's house and she went to someone else's house. Deal breaker. If there's an earthquake, I don't know where you are. Right. I can't yeah. have that kind of lie. Right. But lying about like, did you eat lunch? And she would say yes. And then later she would say, I didn't even eat lunch. And I go, well, why did you tell me you did? Right, right, right. I yeah. don't understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. To just let it go. Yeah. Not that you don't call her on it. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. that you don't go, hey, I know that was a but lie. But you don't flip out There's over no it. consequence. Yeah. There's yeah. no like, yes, mm -hmm. it's going to so-and-so's house instead of the other. That's now a big there's deal. a problem. Yeah. And here's why I have a problem. Safety. And here is the mm -hmm. consequence. You know, right. to uh, kind of 
Not that you need to anticipate every single thing they're going to lie about. It's impossible. But if you have some kind of like baseline of like safety. That's good. Yeah. There's a safety issue mm-hmm. involved. Yeah. It's not unacceptable. That's what we have been mm-hmm. trying to tell her mm-hmm. more and more about like lying is like a dangerous life. Yeah. Like the, this, the dishonest person, like you can get a lot of trouble for that. And like, you lose who you are because you lose, you lose, you lose the are. truth. I've yeah. had these same conversations so many times with Georgia. Yeah. And all you can do, my mother-in-law is like a brain growth and development for toddler specialist. Wow. And she told me wow. once she was like, for toddlers, their brains are changing so rapidly. Yeah. That same development repeats itself in the teenage years. In the years. teenage years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You told me that mm-hmm. recently. Yes. So yeah. she said the problems you have with a toddler are going to repeat themselves in the teen mm. years. So if you have mm-hmm. a little lie, yeah. cheat, steal kid, yeah, that's what's going to show up. If you yeah. have someone who's overly <laughs> emotional and super yeah. reactive, yeah, that's when it's going to show up. Yeah, she was like, that's good. Same thing that's you funny. did in the toddlers mm-hmm. will apply. Yeah. You just keep saying it over yeah, and we, over. That's what I tell him a lot. Over and the, over. And the over. boundary is that your mind doesn't change. You yeah. know, like right. no, I still said no. You yeah. know, like yeah. <laughs> mm, that's good. Yeah, yeah. We Joel, our oldest, he's like he, we had this. He is, he's not done with puberty. He's still growing, but I do he's feel like growing, some of the more intense he, sides of it are kind of done and he's kind of yeah. chilled out. He's leveling but out. But he, he yeah. was a, a little bit of a, like an arguer, not mm-hmm. like, not even that passionately, but just like these like petty little arguments. He'd push back on everything. Yeah. And I asked him one time, it was so funny. I was like, why are you doing this? Why, why do you keep saying that? And he goes like, I don't know. And I was like, that's the honest answer. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. Because your brain is on fire. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're transforming forming from a yep. child to a man yeah and yeah. your brain is insane right it's, now it is like, on fire You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i don't know mm-hmm. is i i'll fully give you that answer totally yeah because mm-hmm. you don't yeah. know and nobody knows yeah. and you don't need to know no i don't yeah. need to know we just need to know we're having a hiccup i need to know where you That's are it. i need to know are you hungry yeah. i need to know yeah. what time you need to be where there's just baseline things do that we you need. have homework and have you done it yeah yeah, yeah. exactly you know. yeah yeah 